introducing first fighting out of the United States Air Force Blue Corner. This Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Muay Thai style fighter stands six foot one, weighing in 186 pounds. The ultimate amateur record, one win, one defeat. That win coming by way of submission. Representing Big George's Boxing and Citadel Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, fighting out of Iowa City, Iowa, by way of Glenwood, Iowa, Cole Offelbar. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. He's a freestyle fighter, standing 5 foot 11, weighed in 185.4 pounds. He holds an 0 1 amateur record, representing Longoria's Black Belt Academy, fighting out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Lombard Little. The referee is now Bobby Walbacher. Lamont in the red corner, Cole in the blue corner. They touch gloves, here we go. Lamont going for a big swing right out of the gates. Cole's kind of trying to establish a jab in his range, but goes for a big kick. See if he can set it up and try that again. Oh! Yeah, Lamont's darting in because he has to. Kind of Cole, yeah, he's got kind of kind of got off balance from his own punch, and yeah, Cole capitalized on it. Has his back now, early in round number one. Yeah, when you're swinging that heavy, you got to be careful because if you miss, you're going to throw yourself off off balance and end up in a position like this. When I caught up with Cole earlier, he actually said he started as a submission grappler. Um, he, he picked up striking later on, so this is probably a bad spot to be if you're Lamont. Yeah, he's, I mean, he has an easy solution here. He can roll to his back to avoid being choked. I don't know how much effort Cole's putting into this right now. Definitely think he's not being choked right now, and I think he's just kind of content not getting himself in a worse position. Cole is not threatening with strikes. But if he's using the cage to scrape him off, maybe he wants to abandon this choke and maybe maybe uh, loosen him up with some ground and pound. I mean, Cole has a lot of, he has a pretty good amount of control here. He could and start to posture up and throw strikes. Because realistically, all Lamont has to do is roll to his back. The crowd is demanding that they stand him up. I, you, you just can't stand somebody up from here, in it, my opinion. It, yeah, there is, there, is, there is technically a submission attempt underway. Um, whether Cole should abandon it. Is up for debate. Yeah. But definitely would not be a smart thing to stand him up. I mean, like I said, Colt there. So now Lamont's got a little bit of a base under him. Cole wants to get his other leg that's free right now in between Lamont's. I think Lamont is gonna survive this round and neither guy's probably exerted a lot of energy, so we're gonna we're gonna get a fresh start in round number two. Now he's going for Short it. Short time, both, but. Yeah, he has both hooks in. Lamont, though, staying calm, using the cage so he can't get leverage. When I caught up with Lamont earlier, said he was working on his nutrition and cardio for this fight, so he very might be the right uh, strategy if we go into these later rounds here. Yeah, I'm just surprised with Cole's grappling experience. He didn't. He held on to that for so long. And for the first time this evening, we go to round number two once again. This bout brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer partner of the Disney Combat Shorts. Lamont. Fighting out of Longoria's Black Belt Academy here in Lincoln, Nebraska.
I'd like to see Lamont slow it down, set up his uh, heavy hits, and keep his feet under him. Definitely doesn't want to get stuck on the bottom early in round number two. Yeah, I mean, assuming off the height of them, Cole probably has a reach advantage. Um, I don't Absolutely. know that to be 100% true, but that means Lamont's going to have to work his way inside, which is what he did last time. Good trip from Cole. Going to follow it up here. It almost looked like Cole was almost going to pull guard. Or I think he wants it to the ground no matter what. Yeah, now he's got Lamont mount. kind of going for a Gamora, but but gets mounted in the process. Didn't control his lower body, his opponent's lower body, but gets right back up to his feet. It was a really athletic, good stand-up yeah. from Lamont. This ate a really good knee, though, from Cole. Not the most technical, but he definitely has athletic ability. And I think Cole prefers a slower paced grappling match and Lamont just needs to kind of make it a fight. I think this is a, I think if he can turn this clinch around and work some strikes in here, this is probably a good, uh, good place for him to be. Yeah, Lamont's trying to get his back off the fence right now. His corner is yelling for him to elevate, elevate the left underhook, there which goes. there he does. Oh. He's holding his groin. Ref stops it. Oh. There's a break in the action for a low blow. Crowd does not like it. Lamont's going to get some time to recover here. See the replay? Uh, yep. Yeah. I believe Lamont gets five minutes to recover. If it follows the standard rules. And this is why you do wear a cup, even if it's uh, not required. Because groin shots do happen. But the fight must go on. Well, it doesn't have to. <laughs> In the words. <laughs> Lamont could decide to not continue. <sighs> yeah, he wants to keep fighting, but I've also felt that pain to know that sometimes taking a minute or two ain't no shame in it. Now both fighters are well rested, but also now sweaty from the previous action. See if that changes the pace and the grappling aspect of this fight. Lamont's got to work on uh, work on getting some angles to, to enter in. He's uh, he's been doing a lot of dashing straight forward. Seems like Cole wants to have this fight in a clinch. Lamont's initiating the clinch, but I think Cole's the bigger fighter. He's also probably a little stronger. He's kind of able to bully him a little bit more in this clinch. Cole definitely wants this fight on the ground. He hasn't been able to do damage per se but he is definitely getting probably more of the controlling aspect on the on the scorecards yeah Lamont's got to be careful he has his legs really close together makes for an easier takedown if that's what he's going for but. well we are going to your third and final round 
both guys have kind of had. Tried to counter uh, counter that straight kick up from from Cole. Right back he just clinch. keeps landing back in this clinch and getting controlled on the fence. I think it's safe to say Lamont is behind on the scorecards. Um, he's definitely going to have to mix it up. Probably get some kind of finish here. Ooh, and his on his back in full and mount. Straight in the mount. But Cole, I mean, to Cole's credit, you know, he's um, controlled the clinch, had uh, all the top time on the ground, and here he is, plenty of time into round number three in full mount. Doesn't necessarily need to finish him to win, but don't necessarily want to leave it to the judges either. Yeah, Cole's... Uh He's been in control most of this fight. I'm just surprised to see him not open up and start going for something that could be more finishing, which he could do here. But he is in full control, so it's hard to argue. Absolutely. And you know, he, he might have also exerted a little bit of energy with some of the submission attempts. You know, even though he might not have been in a good position to squeeze, he might have squeezed, you know, he, he was on top squeezing for a majority of round number one. That can tire your arms out and have fatigue late in the later rounds, so. He is getting some there, good elbows some in good here. Elbow, yeah. Now he's That's going. That's what I've been looking for. And the ref stops it. With a minute left in round number three, we have not had a fight tonight. Go to the judges' scorecards, folks. Comes into town from Iowa City and secures a third round TKO. Moves to two and one as an amateur middleweight fighter. Yeah, I mean, Cole was in control of that fight the entire time. It was good to see him uh, open up at the end there, start to go for a finish. I think he, in the first round, had that opportunity too, and he played it safe, which sometimes that's sometimes that's a preferred strategy early on in a fight. But Absolutely. Glad to see, uh, glad to see him at the end start opening up and, and really go for a finish. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bobby Lawmacher calls a stop to this fight. Two minutes, two seconds of the third and final round of the 